what's going on guys welcome to another video so today's video is a bit special uh but speaking of special i just want to take this time to say thank you to reach westgard for joining the membership uh in this for my channel uh just a public announcement yes there is a membership available in this channel and it starts with uh, one us dollar a month and this is basically giving you an additional perk for the channel uh, including comment priority response if you are a member you're highly likely to get a faster response from me and i guess it's just another way of showing support which i'm not forcing anyone to do but if you feel like doing so you're more than welcome so speaking of special again um there is a comment from uh, omega buduke from ghana i hope i got i mentioned your name correct brother and the comment anyways he's from ghana and uh he's having a problem in app sheet uh, not say problem, I guess it's just a challenge. Uh, the challenge is how do we extract the week number from a specific date? So the week number that we are discussing here today is basically for a specific date, uh, what week number would that fall into? Say for example, the 3rd of January should fall on week number one uh, and so on and so forth. So without further ado, let's check it out all right guys so this is uh, a sample demo or a demo uh, to sort of uh, see whether we can solve uh, omega voodoo case uh, problem which is getting the expression to give out the week number of the month when given a specific Okay, uh, so I'm just going to do a very simple tutorial for today. So I have the unique ID as usual and date for this sample. So now back in my app, I have the sample here. And of course, to convert uh, the date to week number, there is a combination of a few uh, expression or functions which is we'll be using ceiling weekday eo month stands for end of month and some uh, numerical logic to it as well so this is the expression that we'll be using so as you can see on screen we have ceiling so of course uh, ceiling is basically we want to calculate the week number of a given month or specific date so of course ceiling helps to round up the result to the nearest uh, whole number then we have the day which uh, sort of uh, extracts the day of the month from the date from the date column yes you can see you can see here and we have weekday so of course uh, weekday function gives the day of the week uh, for a given date so i think if you refer to my previous video where we have talked about the numbers that represents the day so by default uh, number one would be sunday uh, it goes on till saturday which is seven now there is an, another in interesting function that this uh, would help to make this work which is the EO month stands for end of month so EO month basically returns the last day of the month so as you can see here it extracts the date of the end of month but there is a minus one the minus one stands for the previous month all right so if you want to extract the end of month for that particular month it would be zero and if you want to extract the end of month for the uh, following month it would be one 
So, whatever the date or, or end of month, which is the uh, end of month for the previous month, we want to add one so that the results gives the first day of the current month. So we want to know the the day of the current month. And of course, um, adding the seven uh, is where we uh, the calculation aligns the days to weeks starting from the first day of the month. So by dividing seven here, converts the day count into week since there's seven days in a week. So now let's see it in action. All right. Okay, so let's say we have uh, a date here. Uh, let's see something more relatable to, okay, since we're in January. So there's one, two, three, four, sort of five weeks in January. Uh, when we, the week, there's five week numbers in January. Okay, so if I were to select the 2nd of January, which is on Tuesday, the week number should be 1. And if I were to select 9, which is today, it should be on the 2nd week of January. If I were to select 16, it will be on the 3rd week. If I were to select 23 or 23rd, it should be the 4th week of January. However, there's a spillover for January, which is the fifth week. So if I were to select, let's say, 31, it should... <coughs> oh, sorry. It should uh, select as week number 5 or 30th. So 31 sort of exceeds the 7 boundary. That's why it adds uh, plus 1, which is week number 6. So this is something I hope that would uh, answer the concern or question or problem from Omega. Brother, I hope this works for you. So do give this a try. I have provided this uh, expression in the link uh, in the description down below. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like if you find this video useful and of course omega my brother i hope this answers your question do let me know what else you would like to see in the comment section down below and for those who did hang in there i'm going to entertain yours soon enough so until the next time take care bye bye